Pop Smoke gets upset with you, right? But y'all was able to piece it up. Yeah, I think what happens is it skips the part where we're wh wh how the relationship begins. That's kind of what it is. Me and Pop fall out. Pop is a young nigga. I look at him like a young nigga from my town. You know, he's the cuz, he's outside. He's the young nigga. I look at him really like a young nigga. Um, he's like, yo, I want you to be my DJ. Come fuck with me, bro. Be my DJ. Fuck with me. You know, and um, I'm like, bro, I'm done with this shit. He's like, nah, be my DJ. Yo, bro, you in Cali with the porn stars. Yo, cuz, come on, bro. Shout out to um, my this man, is after Big six Show. Nine. This is after. Yeah. Everybody's in there. I'm now in Cali most of the time. I'm doing a whole bunch of other shit. I got different business endeavors. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? We're making different money and different things. Peaceful out of the way, right? Shout out to Big Show calling me all the time. It's, it's one of the dogs from the town. He's like, yo, I got pop smoke, bro. We need you. We need you to green like this because I still is who I am. If I post it, it was still going to go up. And pop was doing good. Pop had flexing out at this time. And they're like, yo, we need somebody to stamp it so it goes up. So Big Show calling me. I'm like, all right, listen. I'm going to come to the hood. I'm going to come fuck with him. Let me come tap in with him. So me and Pop is talking. We talking about match shit. I'm like, nigga, don't be confused, nigga. You know, that whole Treyway shit, you know, there was match security around. Don't believe the one side of the camera, nigga. You got to get security. You got to get this shit. Bro, if we come back out, you're like, yo, bro, just be my DJ. Come fuck with me. And I'm like, you know what? It'd be lit. I got one from Canarsie. This going to be the first time I got one from the town. I bet. Push come to shove. Um, there was some in-betweens, niggas who was repping pop at the beginning. We weren't on the best of terms. It's my man now, a thousand percent. We're way past this shit. But at that point, it was a lot of shit where another DJ from the town went and went with him and they reached out. One of his people that was like repping him reached out, even though Pop was talking to me and was like, come here. And then when it came down to a show, the nigga basically was like, yo, don't hit, yo, bro, this is who's gonna be. And they kind of just didn't communicate with me. And I felt, I went up to Pop and I was like, my nigga, you're a gangster, right? He's like, of course, cuz, what you mean? I said, why you ain't call me and tell me this is gonna happen? Mm. Why you ain't just say, big bro, cuz, yo, ah, uh -uh, yo, they want me to go with this DJ, they want me to do this. Why you got me going, yeah, nigga, I'm co-signing you all over the internet, da 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 Yeah, he with me, I'm calling DJs, I'm getting welcome to the party and mix show. I'm doing what I do to break the artist because I'm like, all right, I'm gonna be a DJ, I'm back. Why you didn't just call me? He didn't call me. So he, he like, yo, my fault, my fault. I'm just like, I don't want to be around it. I don't even want to be around rap anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm like, fuck it, I don't care. Pop Smoke starts getting bigger. You know what I mean? Starts getting bigger. It wasn't obviously as crazy as it was, you know, terribly said, but after he died, because the record was getting bigger, trying to chart, I think they were like doing okay, you know? <laughs> New York is starting to love it. Dior comes out. I'm with them, you know, when they're putting out the Dior. I'm the one, I'm the first person to post up Dior when he was still calling Dior a Mary. Mm. And I was like, what is this? He's like, yo, call this a Mary. I'm the one who has the clip. I recorded it when we put it in the back of the clip. It's all way before everything. It's before the label took over everything. I got on the phone with Steven, with Steven's my dog and everything now. And I'm like, yo, I got the European Connect because that's how we got 6 9 to go over Europe. I said, let's get Pop to run through the Europe shit. We'll heat him up early over there. It'll go crazy. So I'm a part of this shit in the early stage. And once that happened, I'm like, you know what? I just want to be around it. They go, they do it, they worked it, they got everything right, they end up putting him around, they did fantastic. They did a great job with Pop trying to build up his shit. He didn't really ever get the hit record, you get what I'm saying? It didn't really come straight like that, but Pop is going. Now what happened was, I went, I did this interview, shot the um, Queen's Flipping She Money, flipped the script, I do it, and this rapper who was obsessed with me, he's so fucking annoying, he took a clip that I said about Takashi and he quoted it and edited it and made it look like I said some shit about Takashi in reference to gang shit, about cuz and woo and all of this shit, which is New York, Brooklyn gang shit, and made it seem like I said something, which obviously there's edits. Then the video starts getting reposted, reposted, reposted. Starts doing millions of views, where it looks like Punch is going against gang coach. I'm like, y'all niggas, mm. half of you kids that are this shit, niggas was outside when you were a baby. I'm with your big brothers. Mm. You get what I mean? But these niggas don't think. They don't think. They just do. You get me? So this video is going viral. I go address it on the internet. Pop sees the clip. Someone sends it to him. Pop responds to the clip. Goes on the internet and, and goes like, yo, fuck Punch. Punch don't know what he's talking about. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, so I'm literally like, yo, cuz, get him on the phone. Get him on the phone now. Get him on the phone. What the fuck is all of this? Bro, what are you doing? What are you talking about? Nigga, look at the whole clip. I'm trying to get a hold of him. When I get a hold of him, he's like, bro, I fucked up my phone. I seen the whole clip. Yo, bro, I jumped out of the yo, jumped out of the window on you. Yo, bro, I thought that shit was crazy. You would have never, bro, my fault. Let's fix it. I'm about to post this up. Yo, screenshot the call. I'm about to post it up. I said, no. 
Don't do that. Mm. You owe me one, nigga. I'm about to go do no jumper. Let me do no jumper, and then you gonna repost the no jumper shit. I need you gonna run up some of this clout that you got because I haven't been outside like that on this internet shit, and you gonna help run it up, and I'm gonna clean it up on the interview, and then you gonna post it. Then we'll get up next week when we in the town. He goes bet. That was like the Thursday I do the interview on the Friday. That Monday, Tuesday is when he comes out to LA. I end up leaving LA, going back home. He calls me back. And that's the night when he went shopping and got the bag with the address and all of that. Yeah, that's day. Then he goes to the studio that night um, with uh, Scooby Dozen and On Point OP. Um, shot the whole 1090s and all that. And it was in the studio that night. And they left the studio two something in the morning. He goes to the apartment and then. Y'all not being able to like really get to the bottom of that. Did that fuck you? Because like, I mean, that had to hurt. Like Bottom of what? Exactly. Like just. Because you say he was going to post it, post a video. Like it's like he, y'all still uh, had us, uns- us, unfinished business almost. What? Well, to to, no. Not we business, didn't. but. No, we didn't though. We're, we cleared it up. Okay. To the public, it was unfinished. Mm. But me and him, as men, we already fixed it two days, be- three days before. But to the public, it might have looked like that. Because I remember when I was posting, people were like, he don't even like you. And I'm like, that annoyed me for a while. Because I'm like, damn, my little bro, damn, man, I wish that we would have spoke more often. Damn, that's crazy. I just spoke to you. Niggas like, yeah, right. Spoke when? He don't fuck with you. And of course, the internet, the almighty knowing internet. They're speaking as if it's facts, and that burnt me. But then when the No Jumper interview came out, um, which actually drops the morning that Pop got killed, um, I spoke about, I just spoke to Pop Smoke. So before he died, it was already verbally admitted. So when that interview came out, which ended up doing like a million and change, punch on No Jumper, go Google it. Um, that's when it was like, it, it cleared up where it's like, yeah, Punch clearly spoke to him because he said it before he was dead. Mm-hmm. Or Punch would have said it and then been exposed again. You get what I mean? yeah. So that was rough for me when Pop goes, but after that, I was done. I didn't want to be a part of rap no more. Nipsey dying, the Treyways in jail. Because uh, you was, was low-key almost done before the yeah. Pop situation. Yeah, I was, yeah, but I was just, I was just, it was just that r- pulling me back and then going, I'm like, I'm done. 